Headline News, I'm Lynn Russell. Secretary of State George Shultz narrowly escaped an apparent assassination attempt today. He was riding in a motorcade near La Paz, Bolivia, when a bomb exploded in the road seconds after his car hurt. Two unknown groups are claiming responsibility. We get more from Anthony Collins. The explosive device on the side of the road went off only seconds after Secretary of State Schultz's armor-plated car had passed by during the start of his visit to Bolivia. Schultz's motorcade was descending a mountain road from the airport to the capital of La Paz when the blast went off, apparently by remote control using wires. Bolivian officials, but two leftist groups claimed responsibility. Those who carried it out were the enemies of decency and democracy. Whether they're traffickers, terrorists from some other school, or some combination. Three vehicles in Schultz's motorcade were slightly damaged, including wife Helena. Officials said no one was hurt. A minor explosion also took place at the American commissary in the Bolivian capital. As Bolivian troops scoured the hillside for clues, local officials said the attack was not a serious assassination attempt, but harassment growing out of anti-American tension. Bolivian officials said they suspected that cocaine drug lords were behind the attack. Bolivia is a major source of the drug, and cocaine producers have been angry at the U.S. ever since American armed forces joined Bolivian troops in destroying cocaine labs in 1986. A lot of the, um, the farmers, the peasants, the popular structure um, within Bolivia really has it in for the U.S. It's certainly uh, cocaine, the prime source of uh, money for them. After being taken to the U.S. Embassy for his safety, Schultz went ahead with Bolivian officials. One purpose of his visit was to praise Bolivia for fighting drug traffickers. Security.